Hi, my name is Fabio Varesano. In this little video I show you how to disassemble an Acer Aspire 5680 in order to clean its DC pattern and its CPU fan. Well, every computer has a CPU or processor and uh, this, this component when it's used it gets really really hot but uh, thanks to the DC pattern and the CPU fan the temperature doesn't damage the chip so inf unfortunately a lot of notebooks are badly designed because with, uh, with time a lot of dust, a lot of uh, dirty stuff goes into the uh, CPU fan and the CPU dissipator. So every year or every six months it's needed to clean the CPU fan and the CPU dissipator because uh, when there is a lot of dust the uh, DC pattern and the CPU fan can't work anymore so it's uh, you can get a lot of problems like uh, overeating problem, uh, problems uh, for example you can get uh, uh, you, your computer can get really really hot like almost uh, uh, like it, it could uh, actually become uh, impossible to touch it so but when uh, things get really really dirty it could uh, also get uh, uh, impossible to to use it because uh, when the the cpu get really really hot your bios will simply shut down the the computer so you you will have a malfunctioning uh, computer so in this little video I show you how to disassemble a Toshiba um, a NASA Aspire 56880 which uh, you can see I have it here on my desk and well you, we will use uh, a tiny screwdriver like this well uh, let's see how the process Okay, let's okay, let's go. Okay, we can start from the bottom of the computer. We will have to unscrew all of these uh, screws. It's actually pretty simple to to unscrew this uh, notebook. I've seen notebook which are really really more complex to disassemble but let's go This is a computer which has uh, had a lot had some problems with with over overeating. So we I'm going to open it so that so that we can Okay. Okay. Now, you can see here we have the RAM, here we have the CPU, and what you see here is a is a part of the DC pattern. You you can see that it goes from the from the CPU to the VGA card, VGA chip, 
and here you see the the CPU fan and behind it you we will find the dissipator so we have to unscrew also those two these two screws here one and we are getting there now we can take the fan and open it and just put it like that can you see this this is what is what it's causing overheating problem this is shit this is dust this is uh, powder this is hair i don't know anyway you can see how this look it's awful so we can just remove that we can also use a tiny a tiny paintbrush I'm not doing this right now but because it's actually enough to do this like that and that's it it's now it's now clean we can simply put uh, every screw back, back in place this one was here this one is here and now we can put this back in place That's it. And now simply put all the screws back in place. that's it so as you can see the process is not complex everyone can do it just be careful not touching anything inside the, the computer remember to to clean very well the dust and that's it thanks for watching goodbye